Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, students, this video is the second in the series about how to solve percent problems. Now, percent problems are situations like these three I have here. And this is what I showed from a previous video. Notice how sometimes you're looking for what the percentage is. Sometimes you're looking for what the whole amount would be. And sometimes you're looking for what the part would be given a certain percent situation. All right, this video is all about how to write these as proportions and solve them from a percent proportion. Here's what I mean. You take the situation uh, from a word problem or a, a question and you put it into a phrase like these that I have here. Okay, It's a percent amount, a whole amount, and a part amount. And what you have to do is recognize whether it's in basic order this way or maybe in reverse. And we have these is numbers and of numbers and the percentage number itself. Now here's what the percent proportion looks like. The percent amount, if it's given over 100, 100 is always on the bottom, in the bottom left, equals the part over the whole. All right, now a shortcut I want to show you is the part is where you see the word is in one of those um, percent situations. The whole is always the is or excuse me, the of number. So it's is over of, is over of percent over 100. Once you write it in this structure as a proportion, then you cross multiply to solve. Now let's take a look at some examples. So here's your percent proportion structure like this. And we're going to think of these as proportions here. Number one, what is? All right, so that's my unknown and that's my is number, right? So first of all, we're going to just go ahead and write a proportion with 100 in the lower left. Always start with that. All right, now up above here is the percent number. Do we know it? Yes, it's given as 84%. Okay, I don't even have to put my percent symbol there. So 84 out of 100 equals the of number here. The number closest to the word of is 113, and that goes on the bottom, right? So it's 113, and the what is the unknown, all right? Is over of. So I'm going to cross multiply and solve, and I'll show that in just a minute. Number two, 87%, so it's going to be 87 over 100, equals the of number is 89. Where does that go, top or bottom? Right, of is on the bottom. It's is over of, is is unknown. That's my x. So that proportion looks like that. And we'll cross multiply to solve. 91%, 91 over 100 equals is over of. Is is unknown. Of is 120.3. Cross multiply to solve. Number four, what is 94% of 9? Well, Remember, percent over 100, so percent's given as 94, 94 over 100. And is over of, is, is this case here, it's unknown, and of is 9, so x over 9. All right, let's pause for a second. Go ahead and cross multiply and see if you can get the correct answers. So you're going to cross multiply, and in every case here, it's going to be 100 times x is 100x, and this is going to be 84 times 113, cross multiply, and we're going to divide each side by 100. Now when you divide by 100, basically you're just moving the decimal point over, okay? Moving it over two places to the left. All right, so again, 100 times x, 87 times 89, that gives me that equation, divide each side by 100. Here it's 100 times x, and 91 times that number, cross multiply, that will be divided by 100 on both sides and get your answer. 
Here it's 100 times x and 94 times 9. All right, in all cases here we're going to divide by 100 for our final step. So here are our four answers just to start with. Hope that you tried it first. Let's take a look at some more examples. All right, you work 5 through 8 and remember the percent proportion and check back. For number 5, remember that you're always looking for the percent number first and it goes over 100. I'd recommend just writing it out like this with the proportion having uh, 100 in the lower left. Look for the percent number and in this case it's unknown. So that's going to be X. And then you have is over of. Here's your is number 11 and here's your of number 113.5. So you're going to do the same for all of these. Remember to cross multiply. So for this one it's going to be 113.5X equals 100 times 11 so that would be 1100 then of course divide by that number to get x by itself and your answer will be that um, answer to your division problem there now when you write this proportion uh, percent proportion because you have x over 100 and you do this math over here you are going to get the actual percent. You will not have to move your decimal point over. Here's what I mean. I do 1100 divided by 113.5 and I divide it out and I get 9.69 .9, which is 9.7 percent and I do not have to worry about moving the decimal point over. And the way you know is because you already have it over 100. That moves the decimal where it should be. 9.7%. All right, keep trying all the rest. Here are the rest of the problems and the proportions that we can get from them. And these are all missing percents, so that's why we all have x over 100 here. And you're going to cross multiply. And let's go ahead and check your answer. 9.7%, 15.6%, 51.9%, and 40.6%. Those are rounded to the nearest tenth of a percent. Now I have one more set of problems for you to try. Here we go, 9 through 12. Now notice the pattern here that the of number is missing. Okay, The of number is missing on all four of these problems. So make sure you know what that percent proportion is and where that unknown x would go. Here are the answers and here are the proportions on how I got those answers. Again, the 11% is of course 11 over 100 and the 15% is 15 over 100 and so on. Now the key here is to make sure that you put the is number, which is at the end here and here, on the top of your second ratio because it's is over of. All right. In this case, the is number is first, just the way it's worded. So you want to really check to see where the is number is and the of number. All right, the next video in this series is a self-quiz. And you can use either method, the equation method or the proportion method that I've shown in these first two videos. Good luck and thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.